If you ever drive by Iowa farmer Bill Cowser, a Republican, isn't pleased with the Biden administration. Cowser said President Joe Biden hasn't done enough in the way of trade and agriculture to help farmers and livestock producers in his state. He's leaning towards the Republican frontrunner former President Donald Trump just two days before the Iowa Republican presidential caucus. Uh, when Trump was in there, he made a lot of promises and he kept most of them. Uh, when we look at what's happened at the last administration, we feel like uh, we, inf as farmers and livestock producers, gone backwards. Uh, when we look at um, things like free trade. The 69-year-old farmer and livestock producer looks after more than 5,000 heads of cattle and raises corn and soybeans on his Nevada, Iowa farm, which he recently sold but still looks after. Some of the corn he grows is used for ethanol production. Cooser said the extremes on both ends of the political spectrum frustrate him. The challenge we've had with the, the last two elections is the, the candidates. We go far to the right or we go far to the left. There doesn't seem to be anything in the middle that, that one size can't fit all anymore. Why do we have two sides of the aisle? Um, years ago, when I was a kid, it wasn't like that. We always got together and we came together and always came to a, a common agreement. Um, when I look at, uh, if I had to choose today, I can't choose today because there's so many things that need to happen and it's a long, nine months is a long time, but yet it's just around the corner to tomorrow. Ahead of the Iowa caucus, widely seen as the first test of the presidential election, Trump commands a lead of 51% of voters, ahead of former U.S. Ambassador Nikki Haley with 17%, and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis with 16% of voters, according to an average of polls by polling analytics website 538.